Hey guys, welcome to Gunflood TV. This is episode number 267 and I'm your host, Lindsay, and this is my co-host, Plan 303E Deep Striker. That's right, Lindsay. It's here and it's big. As you can see, I'm hiding behind it. Hello, everybody. That's right. My name is Todd and welcome back to Gunplug TV. And I've been... Wow, it's... it's, it's, it's it's like Christmas, but it's in March. It's like a PG Christmas, except it's an MG. Right, this is about the same March. size box as that PG Axia, so this is going to have a lot of plastic. Yeah. Boy, it's big, and that's really nice box art, isn't it? I know, I always love the Gundam box art so much. So you can kind of see the back of it here, they show the picture of the actual unit itself. And yeah. uh, they've only showed it from one angle because it's just so massive they couldn't fit the cannon <laughs> right. in any other way. <laughs> right? Boy, I, I mean, since this thing went up on the site for a pre-order, I was like, wow, I'm really excited to get this kit to come in. They do have a couple of shots here on the side of yeah. different angles for the unit, but it's cool. I mean, all the, the box has both English and Japanese text. Today we're bringing you two kits. We do have two kits, but don't worry, I will get started on this over the weekend. So I, because it's so big, I did the PG Xe. it came in and I had it completely finished, wiring it all yeah. in one week. But this is a lot more cutting, I feel, because of the backpack and you have to, the, the mobile suit and the backpack. So I'm going to build part of it one week, I think, mm -hmm. and then I'll have another part the second week so this will be more of a two-parter that also give me more time to talk about it instead of trying to cram everything into one episode so that is my plan all right and i'm excited to get started on this <laughs> giant monstrosity i just can't wait to see how big it is in person because right? the box doesn't really do it justice no i mean th this is just an illustration but you can't tell just from the the prototype images alone how big it is because there's no person in the shot to give you a size comparison that's right yeah right here we've got our newest well female uh gundam build fighters <laughs> kit <laughs> i have the newest age two and i believe this was called the magnum the age two magnum yeah the age two magnum from build diver and there goes one of the parts i think that was his hand cover maybe yeah this is from the newest build divers so they've kind of went through and they've changed a few of the parts on it to make it give it a very unique look do you want to look at this one first shall we yeah all right let's take a look at the age two first New Beginnings! That's right, the first kit of the new Gundam Build Divers. And I, I, I really have to wonder, do they get the divers part? Because in Tokyo, Japan, that giant unicorn Gundam statue, and before the old RX-78 Gundam statue, was at this uh, shopping mall in Tokyo, in Divers? It's called Divers City? Yeah. So I want, I do have to yeah, wonder. Maybe there was inspiration from right? that. Right. But anyway, getting back to the kit and not so much waffling, this is the Age 2. So this is the first time we're getting kits from the Age series into the Gundam Build Fighters and Build Divers lines because the original Build Fighters and Build Fighters Try, there was no kits from Gundam Age and there was no kits from Gundam Gino Reconquista. So we are finally getting kits from those shows into the show. And I guess maybe that's why they decided to go with this kit as like the one of the main leads for the series and one of the first ones that they would actually end up releasing. But Age 2 is one of my favorite suits from the Age series. They had the Age 1, which is kind of really kind of plain Jane-ish, then Age 2, and then Age 3 kind of just bulked up more. But one of the things that really I really liked about the Age 2 suit, which they've continued on here with this Age 2 Magnum, is that it has these kind of four-wing funnel type things and then it transforms into this really cool looking kind of fighter fighter jet mode which the age one doesn't do and the age three also does not do but the age three just looks cool because it's nice and bulky all right so what is has been changed from the age two so just looking here right away you can see the helmet of course he's got 
a new face and a new helmet and of course all new colors the chest pretty much is the same they've changed the design of this skirt and you put it on into a different location so that is pretty cool the legs themselves are pretty much the same as the age two but the feet you've got these new style feet here on the bottom all right so going on to the funnels here on the back these are all completely newly redesigned and they've got a cool looking clear plastic green part here on the top as well and that is really really cool one of the things they show that you can do with these funnels actually if you want to have more like of an action pose you can remove the funnel from him and then maybe you can take him with his gun like a firing thing and if you have a stand you could just have like the funnel being kind of like supported on its own in the stand just giving him more of a cool looking action pose as far as weapons go they call this weapon that he has here and I do believe this one had some new parts like the the top of the gun here and of course like the wings and whatnot they're calling this the hyper Dodds Rifle Magnum, of course, because he's the H2 Magnum, so he's going to have a Magnum gun. This is the Shiguru Shield. The Shiguru Shield, which is attached onto his other arm here, his left arm. Even though you have enough parts to build a second shield, they don't give you the part to connect it. Alright, so give me a second to get him into the cool looking flight mode. Alright, so here it is, all transformed into phoenix mode it does not look like a mobile suit anymore and yeah and it's I, really different from like macross too yes it's got its own macross, look to it yeah macross they kind of just look like regular old aircraft but changed around a bit but this really looks like a spaceship or maybe some kind of starfighter that you yeah. would see in star wars or something yeah it has so, more of a sci-fi look to it and that is just completely awesome and you guys can kind of see why i do indeed love the age two mobile suits so much all right so i think that about wraps it up for this magnum i look forward to getting more of these build fighter or the build divers kits and that was going to be next month is going to be a very busy build divers month so i really look forward to more of the build divers kits yeah. that coming next and month I yeah believe. next so month as is the series as itself. is the series on april so. 3rd Stay so tuned. I look forward to it. Yeah. Well, you guys can't tune in on Japanese TV. Yeah, that's true. But I think maybe they can watch online. Yeah, I'm sure there's some um, channels like, you know, they, there's Crunchyroll and yeah. uh, and others that that post um, subtitled versions like right after they go up. So right, hopefully I, we'll have it available somewhere. I, there is like one certain one that usually does the the Gundam. The Funimation. Stuff. I don't think it was Funimation. I can't remember off the top of my head. So next up, let, let's look at... Another Build Fighters game. Yes. Well, this is Build Fighter, Divers Fighters. Anyways, right. this is Miss Loing Rinko. Loing Rinko. She looks cute. Yeah, and I really want to see You did a good job on close. that one. <laughs> okay, so from Build Fighters, here she is, Mrs. Loing Rinko. And I have her here in MR mode. Um, Mr. Mode? <laughs> That's what it looked like to me when I first saw it too. But no, it just means that uh, she doesn't have the butt part on, oh. the extra butt part. So first, let's just look at the basic features and then we will transform her into AA mode. So with the first uh, female mobile suit kit I did, I drew on the eyelashes and this time I used stickers just so I could kind of see for myself what the difference is. I do prefer the mm. painted look myself right, because you can kind of see the where the sticker starts and ends. But hey, it's better than what Todd did. He told me not to put it on at all <laughs> and it looked weird. <laughs> anyways, so there she is. She's nice and expressive. Um, Boy, is she expressive She's as got ever. the clear part in over her eye, so it gives it that nice shiny depth. look. I like that extra depth that gives it to Yeah. Me. And um, as you can see, her backpack's really nice too. Um, it is a little hard to move her around with it on, um, but not impossible. I mean, you can just take it on and off as you please. Uh, an interesting thing to note is they hooked her hair through a hole in the back, her ponytail there. So Ooh. that was interesting. That nice might be a gumpla first where they designed the backpack around a head, the hair. <laughs> around a strand of hair, yeah. 
One of my favorite parts is that her skirt is made of a very soft plastic. So it allows for a lot of movement with the legs. Right. As you can see, it just moves with with the different poses. So here you can kind of see the posability. She does have armor on her lower leg, so she cannot put the leg all the way to the back of the thigh, but that is all right. She also has these nice little cannons on her knees. Yeah, those are really cool. Which I thought were a nice <laughs> little touch. I think we all want to see the transformation. With yeah. The extra so let's get into that. All of these uh, female mobile uh, suits have come with a stand that's kind of custom to them. Uh, right. It's unique to them. So hers is, has this yellow clear plastic. One of the others had heart holes in it, which was cute. But anyways, this is the butt piece I'm talking about. Yeah, look at that. I love they got like the cloth shape also kind of molded in that bottom part. <laughs> yeah. To show a little There's, bit of wrinkle in the... It's hard to see. I think you can see it a bit. There's a fold of fabric in there. But anyways, so this is so you can pose her kind of in a sitting down pose. Um, like what I they mean, show they on the box art. Yeah, basically. like how they show her on the box art. And she's not sitting down, she's midair, but I mean, it, it still allows you to completely get her into kind of a sitting pose. So let's do that. Um, first, we need to remove her waist. Oh no! Sorry. And then this is just going to hook right in. Very simple. Oh, wow. It that just looks slides great. right in. And you, you might even be able to do this without removing the. Uh, her the torso her torso to be honest so as you can see now she can sit in chairs just fine very nice and we'll get her back on her stand it's kind of got her knees together you're gonna get those down. feet flat but i think also the top feet the top part of the feet can be swat, swat, swapped oh yes i meant to mention that so she's got these optional cannon parts these just slide out this part pops in Boy, and now that she's is got cool. a nice pop out cannon in her heel. So there you go. That's what it looks like with it on. Um, I'm just going to show off some of her other optional parts real quick. Okay. But she's looking great. Oh, by the way, you can remove the armor part if you want to uh, just oh, have yeah. her have that nice, like, pantyhose tights looking. The armor just kind look. of slides it, right yeah, over the leg. Yeah, it just slides right in and off. You can put it on backwards too there. <laughs> Shut up, God. <laughs> Shh, no one saw that. <laughs> but yeah, it just pops right in and out. Very easy. But of course, when you're on camera and you're not looking at the joint that you're uh, sticking in. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot. It can be tricky. So when you're on camera, you're doing everything kind of backwards. Yeah. That Anyways, there she so is pain. with one of her cannon heels. And so she also has the generic open palm. Just open hands like jazz hands jazz hands <laughs> and she also comes with another type of eye uh, so that you can change up her expression right these eyes also if you don't want to use the clear parts these ones stick out a little bit oh farther, yeah these so are the way. stick out type and then she has two types of stickers so you can use them with either the popped out the popped out eyes mm. <laughs> the eyes that are flush against her skin or the ones that have the clear plastic over them and uh, then she also has just plain heels plain shoes yeah regular if shoes. you just want to get rid of all the armor on her lower body so With that's flat cool. bottom and i think that about does it okay she looks cool yeah all right so yeah it's been a really good build fighters week it was i love that interchangeable butt part <laughs> you just had to bring it up again i did uh. mm -hmm. I, it's a nice feature. It is, and boy, that figure has lots of nice features. Anyways, <laughs> we're going to see a lot more from the Build Fighters Build Divers series right. next month, so we look forward to that. Indeed. Now let's take a look at some comments. Yeah. It is comment time. Oh, <laughs> Miss Lung. <laughs> no one saw that. No one saw that. It was just her oh, backpack. How did her poor backpack Shh. just caught on the hair? Anyways, the first comment comes from... <laughs> I can't believe I just did that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Our first comment comes from Foxhound who said... Foxhound? <laughs> I checked the fan poll and they have pretty much every mobile suit to choose from that has appeared in an animated work. So no suits from novels or mangas mm. without any 
anime adaptations. Windmill Gundams and Balls are a go. Go, wind go Windmill Gundam and Balls. <laughs> Everybody get your, you can vote for three, so whatever yeah. your favorite suit is, plus the windmill, plus the ball. Next up is from RJ Karonaj. Karonaj. Yeah. How about the Devil Gundam in MG? That would be monstrous. It Wouldn't would. It? I would like to see that a lot. Although I just, for the Devil Gundam, I just have a feeling if we ever get a Devil Gundam, it would probably end up as like an RE100 kit. Maybe. Yeah. It's so big. It is so big, but that would be awesome. I, someday, there's <laughs> always someday. There's always a possibility. All right, next up is PT25. Could you review the upcoming Pacific Rim kits? Those kits look really interesting with the inner frame. Yes, we saying? are going to do it. Actually, those are coming out this month too. So I think after the Deep Striker, we'll take a look at the, the Pacific Rim kits. Yeah, so look forward to that. Indeed, yes, indeed. All right, so I think we have a prize to give away. <laughs> oh yes. This week too. All right. The winner of 2000, 2000 yen, yen HLJ credit. store credits. And this goes to, thanks to the random number generator, comment number 41, and that is by G Razor. The new build strike is wicked. 2000 would be nice to help me buy the new F91 <gasps> version 2.0. Well, guess, guess what? what, Mr. Razor? You won! You won, and that is going to indeed help you buy that new F91 version 2.0. That is Very nice. exciting. All right, so. And if you would like to win 2,000 yen HLJ store credits, usable on hlj.com. That's right. Then all you have to do is find the link to Hobby Link TV uh, episode from this description, 267. episode 267, <laughs> and place your comment there. That's all you and have to do. Maybe and be the a subscriber to our generator. YouTube channel, of course. Yes. Because we've got... Gumpla TV and now Toy Tengoku as well. If you guys haven't been checking out Toy Tengoku, yeah. it's very fun. We got David and Lindsay, of course. She, yes. She gets. She's. She's a very busy woman. <laughs> we we've been doing figure reviews and we've also been taking a look at you know some things around Japan like crane yeah, games. Yeah, crane games. Those are fun. I love the crane games. They're I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> but anyways, we look forward to hearing your comments. So I think that about wraps it up for I this week. I think so lately, so whoa, hello there. Hey, hey Scott. Hey, Scott. What's up? We're, we're, we're what? recording. Uh, did you guys cover this? What? Well, we got, no, we got a that, special sample. Of that this looks things. really cool. You didn't cover it though? No. no. Oh, well we'll have to do a special episode just on this then. Oh, heck yeah. All right, okay. get on it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's mine now. <laughs> Stay tuned for that. Yeah, look forward to that. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it secret until we do our special. Shh, don't look. We are brought to you by Hobby Link Japan, hlj.com, right. and you can find us also on Tumblr, Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram, and links to all of those are on the top of our website. Okay, that sounds like that'll about do it for us this week. Yep. But we got a big episode coming for you next week. And a special. And a special, maybe. <laughs> we'll have to see, okay. All right. I, all right, everybody, thank you very much for watching. I hope you all have a great week. <laughs> and we'll see you next time. See you guys later.